All right, you guys. So the RNG Souls update is... Uh I mean, the, the Pet Sim 99 update is here. We have the RNG event. Of course, as always, we're just going to quickly go over the dev blog here, and then we're going to quickly hop in game and actually play this update for ourselves. If you don't know what RNG means, it's basically just random number generator, and pretty much every game uses this for a lot of different features. Our game Pet Sim obviously uses the RNG feature quite a bit to do things like egg rolls, gift bag rolls, pretty much all the like random chance stuff so this time around they're using the rng system but using it in the way that souls rng does it and surprisingly enough they're giving us a chance to actually roll a titanic pet for absolutely free from doing so now if you're watching this this is an event world so we're only going to have a limited amount of time but we are going to have access to this world for at least the next two weeks and you're about to find out why just a little bit here in the dev blog so just wait a minute for that so of course like i said this is a event world so so this is going to be a specific world that is only going to be available for a limited amount of time. Now, strangely enough, there's only going to be one pet available to be used in this world. And on top of that, there are no breakables. So this might be the first vent world that we've had that has absolutely no breakables. I'm not sure why they're doing this. I know they're trying to go for this Souls RNG theme, but having this update with no breakables just seems like they went a little too far and didn't incorporate enough pet sim stuff into this world. And essentially, this is how it works. It's going to look a little bit like this if you've ever played an RNG type game. Personally, I don't play these types of games because I don't really understand the appeal myself. But every time you roll right here, you get a chance to get any kind of pet that will be either regular, gold, rainbow, or shiny. And it's a total of 102 pets. And each of those pets give you a unique aura effects. So these unique aura effects that you get after opening these pets are kind of the big thing. Because if you're walking around the trading plaza or just a public server, seeing someone with a super rare aura will be like a huge flex for people. So that's basically the objective of this type of game slash update. Now, as you roll pets, you're going to be able to upgrade your egg, which makes that egg more lucky. So there is going to be some sort of progression feature where we're going to be able to upgrade things as we go. And it's going to increase your chances at getting these super rare stuff like Titanic and huge pets. Now, you guys already saw the free to play Titanic. This is going to be the first free to play Titanic since Pet Sim X. Now, I'm not sure if this is entirely true because I thought that weekly egg that you get for playing the update every week is technically a free to play Titanic. But hey, I might be wrong about that. Either way, this is a very good thing for the player base. You guys have a chance to get a Titanic for free this update. Now, on top of the Titanic, there are also huge pets that you can get in this egg. According to this dev blog, it says in order from least to most rare, meaning that this Megatronic robot should be the easiest. We have that robot, the abyssal jellyfish, the corrupt butterfly, and then the temporal owl. So each of these is going to have its own chance of getting it from the egg. And then, of course, with every other pet, you're going to get a specific aura with opening each type of huge. Now, it's kind of hard to see in this picture. There is a lot going on here, but these do look pretty sick. Not sure how much content this is really going to be for the next two weeks, considering this is going to be our event world for the next two weeks. So here are some of those upgrades that we can see. We have the RNG egg luck. So this increases your egg luck for that RNG egg and then the hatch speed, which is another really important one. There's also something called an RNG bonus luck, which gives you a four times bonus luck increase every 10 rolls, which I guess will help as well. Now, the last upgrade that we can see on this list is the increased chance for the RNG huge from this egg. So all of these seem very important. So we're going to see how hard it actually is to get these types of coins in game. Now, something that seems like a very important part about this update are actually these dice. So as you can see, there's like simple ones that give you 100% luck for one minute. This one gives you 150 for five, but these mega dice are crazy. This gives you plus 1 million percent luck for one roll. And then the RNG mega lucky dice two gives you 10 million percent luck for one roll. Now, I'm not entirely sure how rare it's going to be to get something like a huge or Titanic with a 10 million percent luck bonus 
for one roll. Below it, it says these can be bought and crafted. So it's going to be bought and crafted from this merchant, I assume. And you're going to be able to buy them with those coins that we just talked about. And then looking at this crafting lucky dice menu, essentially, we're just going to be able to turn all the lower tier lucky dice that we get from this merchant into these higher tier, all the way up to the 10 million percent lucky mega dice two. So I'm guessing that in order to make one of these mega lucky dice twos, it's going to take an absolute load of these regular lucky dice and then i'm guessing big games has really been enjoying these leaderboards because we've been seeing a lot of these types of leaderboards recently in game for this event world we're going to be able to see who has the most amount of rolls i'm guessing is what this is and then on the right we have total rng points rolled so i'm guessing this is basically who has been the luckiest overall in terms of their rolls which leads us to the new clan battle for this week, which is basically going to be roll the best pets in the RNG event. And as you can see, this is a two week clan battle, which means that this event world is going to be available for at least the next two weeks. Now, I'm not sure what big games has in store and how they are planning on upgrading this event world for next week to add more content. As you guys know, with event worlds, they try to add a part two or increase the amount of content in a world to add some content for the week so i'm not sure how they can really do that with an rng event like this but we'll wait and see because big games usually does like to surprise us so next up we have the six year anniversary of pet simulator one which brings us the brand new classic exclusive egg into pet simulator 99 now inside this egg you can get the titanic classic cat it looks like this it's a very derpy i'm not gonna say it's like super cool or anything but it's it's just kind of a cool idea. I like the little classic theme that they got going here. You can also get the huge classic dragon or classic dog, which are down here. So this is a classic dragon and this is the classic dog, I assume. Now, if you are an investor in the SpongeBob eggs, you're going to be very disappointed because I don't actually think they removed the SpongeBob eggs from the game at all. Now, you can see this when we go down to the changes section of the dev blog, because they say here that they've added a countdown to the SpongeBob exclusive egg, which which means that I assume both of these exclusive eggs are actually available still in the exclusive shop. Now, if you've been playing Pet Simulator 99 for a while, you'll know that this is the first time they've had two exclusive eggs in the shop for quite a while. I can't tell you how many months it's been exactly, but it's been like maybe five, six, seven, maybe potentially months since they've had two types of eggs in the exclusive shop at once. So investors in this exclusive egg are going to be very disappointed this week because of course people can still buy the spongebob egg and the fact that i don't think this class egg egg is going to be very popular at all probably means that people are going to be buying that spongebob egg still over this new egg so another thing they listed here is that they did fix the pinatas so apparently they were just glitched this week i'm pretty sure they fixed them like just a day or two after i made my video about it this week but either way it's still good to know that this was an error and they did not purposely nerf these pinatas Either way, though, let's just hop in this update because I actually want to play and see how rare of a pet we can get. All right, you guys, so we are in game finally, and here we have the RNG event. Now, really quickly, I do want to check that it is accurate that the SpongeBob egg is in here still. So, of course, we do have the SpongeBob egg right next to this classic egg at the exact same price. Since this SpongeBob egg has probably been one of the most in demand eggs we've had in quite a bit. I think the fact that this is going to be available for the same time as the classic egg is really going to diminish the amount of purchases of this egg. And that does mean that the market is going to be a very interesting place to see this week. Now, let's actually head into this RNG event and see what we can do for ourselves. So there really isn't all that much to this world. This is pretty much it from what it seems like. You can't use your hoverboard in here. Now, you're supposed to be able to use just one pet. So I'm going to pull out this huge present chest mimic. Now, if we press E on this middle egg, we can essentially just open the egg and start down the countdown timer. Now, really quickly, I'm going to put on auto roll and just let it roll a little bit while I'm talking here. Now, like I said, if you do 
want these RNG coins, which are going to be very important for this upgrade so that you can actually upgrade this egg in the first place. All you're going to want to do is open this egg all the time because each of the chances for these pets you get is going to give you the certain amount of coins. So as you can see with this pet that I'm opening here, it's a one in eight chance, which means that I get a total of eight coins from opening it. Now, after a certain time of opening this egg and getting some coins, we'll be able to head over to this RNG upgrades area. Now, I'm gonna turn off auto roll for this, but when we head in here, we could see the prices of all these different upgrades. Now off the bat, in order to get as many coins as possible, you're gonna wanna be able to upgrade this RNG hatch speed as well as the RNG egg luck. Both of these is gonna give you a much higher chance to get the rarer pets, which is gonna give you more coins. So this is very important that I think you should just go ahead and definitely upgrade these two first. And then pretty much only upgrade these two when these get pretty expensive and you still have a decent amount of coins. Now, another thing you can do is buy these dice. So as you can see, one of these lucky dice increases your luck by 100% for one minute. So I think you should probably go over here and spend your coins every time that this merchant respawns. Now, if I am correct, I think this dice merchant will restock around every three minutes. So it's really important that you start getting rep with this guy because the more rep you get, the more chances or more slots you get at buying these dice. Because if you head over here, it's gonna take quite a bit of these dice in order to make these super rare mega lucky dice. All right, you guys. So after rolling for quite a bit of time and getting a few pets, I do wanna explain a little bit further what I found out. So as you see above my head, I have the tag one in a thousand frost pet. Now, the way I got this is by equipping the best, most rare pet I've gotten so far, which is this ice bunny. So this is going to give you that aura in this world. Now, this little frost aura isn't the coolest right here. I actually have this umbrella bear, which is a pretty cool aura. As you can see, it's like a thunderstorm above my head. I also do have this rainbow version of it, so I'm not sure if it looks any different, but that looks sick. I basically have like a little RGB thunderstorm above my head now and then the little pet follows me as well so that is pretty cool now if we head over here into the trading plaza we can see if we could see other people's auras and stuff like that see if people have anything cool that they can flex so wow that is quite unfortunate actually you cannot see other people's auras in the trading plaza i thought that would be a really cool feature so that you could flex on other players now one thing to know is that you can actually trade all of these pets that you get from this rng egg so you can artificially flex by not actually opening the pet that you got and getting that aura but obviously it doesn't hit the same if you haven't opened the pet for yourself either way though i think it's really disappointing that you can't see the aura in the training plaza because that would have been a pretty cool feature but besides that you guys that is pretty much it from this event that seems like it's really all the content that we got for this week's update oh my goodness as you can see this guy in his lobby i'm in actually has this one in a hundred thousand radiant aura this guy right here has a one in twenty five thousand love aura so it looks like we have a lot to do we have to continue opening this egg if we're gonna want to keep up with people like these guys here so like I said, that's pretty much it for this week's update. I do have some big ideas for videos that are going to come out this week. Now, I know I said last week that I was slacking, but this week I was actually really busy with school. So I have a little bit of an excuse, but no more excuses. I'm telling you guys, if I don't make at least four videos by the end of this week, I will give away 500 million diamonds in value to you guys. So if you have any interesting ideas for videos that you want to see this week, leave that down in the comment section below and I'll be checking out all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.